Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. In order to be a leader, you have to have the trait of connecting the dots, of seeing the interconnection between things. Wisdom, after all, is that very thing, seeing how various things, some clear, others not so clear, actually align with each other and are all part of the so-called big picture. So for the usual Joe six-pack, there are all sorts of things just happening. And yes, while it's true, at least in the natural order, that many things just happen, car accidents, losing your keys, burning your dinner, there are also other things that are definitely related. And in this area, the discerning mind will observe a critical difference. Some related things are obviously related. Television ad revenues, for example, relate directly to how many people watch a given show. But others are not so obvious, at least at first. For example, and the Focus Church Milton is bringing more and more to all of this, the <clears throat> coincidences in the advancement of communism. Yeah, around the world for sure, but most importantly right here in the U.S. Since the Russian Revolution, it has been well understood by the commies that the West was the enemy with its foundational Catholic principles. The conclusion of World War II catapulted the United States into the position of sole world power, and with that position came the enmity of the Soviet Union. We had the bomb, they did not. End of story. As long as we enjoyed military superiority, their world domination plans had to be put on hold and sort of rethought. So they stole the secrets to the bomb from us, made their own, and thus began the nuclear arms race and the Cold War. Once military parity had been achieved, things quickly got back on track for the Kremlin. Proxy wars were fought all over the globe for the next 40 years. But what many Americans failed to get is that some of those proxy wars were actually being fought on U.S. soil in our own institutions, the courts, politics, universities, media, religion, and so forth. And here is where the connecting of the dots needs to occur, and sadly for many, still hasn't. Way too many, it hasn't. In order to gain absolute control over America and shatter the West, Communism would ultimately have to gain control over a major American political party. The Democrats had always styled themselves as being for the little man, which did have some element of truth truth to it back in the day, way back in the day. But as Ronald Reagan so famously said in 1964, I didn't leave the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party left me and left America as well, as America had largely understood itself anyway. The Soviet Union collapsing was not the end of communism, although practically everyone in the West viewed it that way. It was nothing more than an infection killing its host organism, but not before having overrun the West, which now too is being killed. It was the institutions that were infected, slowly and unnoticeable at first, barely perceptible, like how many cancers just creep up on people initially. Getting control of the institutions, especially media and universities, meant getting control of the average person's mind and reorienting their thinking with a very heavy concentration on young minds, more susceptible to the propaganda because of their lack of worldly experience. Young people can always be fooled with appeals to emotion. Heck, a lot of older people can for that fact, especially baby boomers who set the whole paradigm in motion. And when enough young people who are always in the process of growing up and becoming the next generations, when they can be persuaded that the past is bad, then the commies have paved the way for a takeover of a political party. It was the combo of hearing it in school and then that being reinforced in media that convinced so many former young people, now boomers, to throw off the old. This week, we're going to be highlighting the conversion of the American Republic to the People's Republic of America and how media, education, and religion played such a vital role and still do in bringing about the collapse. It's an extremely clever and highly technical conquest of our country. Are you going to stand for it? God love you. I'm Michael Voris.